What's up guys, Sonny Stalker here for a new video. This is right up here. I'm just kind of walking around, roaming the streets of the awesome neighborhood of Barrio Logan here in San Diego. I feel like doing that today because I know it's random, but let's go you know, walk around, check out some stops. We got a bite to eat, kind of hit up the cool areas of this neighborhood. I also got some old family ties out here. My dad is from this area, growing up and things like that. So it's a very cool area, I like it. It's just awesome. So I've, I've, I've done this before, like it's been a while though. So let's go through it now and check out during the daytime. It's like afternoon right now. It's got some places I've never been to before. There's a couple shops here I've never been to. So I'm gonna check those out and things like that. And so right now it's Monday as I'm recording this. So it's the after Mother's Day. So if you had an awesome Mother's Day with all your mothers out there and grandmas and things like that. I had a fun time with my mom. We went out to eat last night, get some uh, you know some Chinese food and stuff like that. And after that, I went after like a little bit of wine. My mom wanted some wine, so we had a little bit of wine. So we kind of chilled it up last night and that kind of thing right there. It's really a good time. But now, as so I'm walking through here, and I hope you guys had an awesome time as well with your moms and grandmas and all your loved ones out there. But let's go through here, check it out, peruse around, stock it up, have a fun time. A good old neighborhood of Barrio Logan. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of graffiti, but that's okay. It's cool like that. And you get this shop up here. Well, it's like a, like a former house, but it's like a bookstore, I believe now. So we're gonna go in there. I think it's open. It should be open. I see something out there. Sometimes shops are closed on Monday. So we're gonna go in there. I've never been there before. I heard it's kind of cool. Like it's between books and maybe like some other stuff there to buy too. I don't know. Let's go check it out. But it's kind of a neat little area. It's like, it's like this, this house, like the middle of the street in a way it's interesting a nice fun times a little cloudy i took my shades off because the clouds started coming down right now but oh yeah but going right over there Ooh. all kinds of interesting uh murals like look at these guys like these boxing guys i'm not sure how old those are look like i don't know if they're older they kind of have that look like they're from like the 90s i don't know they probably aren't they kind of get that look and this guy this sort of looks like almost like a critters kind of vibe the middle of uh the street here it's like this little own sidewalk this building Kind of an interesting look, like this interesting, like rectangular sort of hexagon kind of look. Pretty cool. Here goes some books up here. About a huge uh, collection of books I'm, I have, but books are cool. Can't go with some good books. Here's some good horror books. Here's one right here. H.P. Lovecraft. Compendium. I've heard of that one. The Call of Kalulu. I don't know who that is, but yeah, that's pretty neat. Let's go check it out. That's kind of cool when you go in here, you have like this old school TV. I used to have one like that when I was growing up as a kid. You get the VCR going on right there. That's pretty rad. You know, all kinds of neat stuff. So far, this is very, very cool. I, I dig it. Get some vinyls going on up over here. Some Steppenwolf happening. Some Olivia Newton John. Oh yeah, I dig it. I dig it so far. Very, very cool. Awesome uh, vintageness, I see. Even like an old cassette. You put your cassettes up in there, an old uh, radio, things like that. That is cool. These books, like a hip hop book right there, the history, like a hip hop Bible. That is, that's pretty cool. And I dig the whole like stereo right there. I need to get something like that. Let's get my spot, get something like that. This is kind of neat right here. Now that's what I call hip hop. Remember those ones like, that's what I call music, but it's like the hip hop party one. Interesting, that is, that is pretty rad right there. Check out this Adidas shoe made out of Lego bricks. That's pretty interesting. And all kinds of neat odds and ends, as you can see up here, little posters and things like that. Anthony Bourdain, No Reservations, book. It's a love his show. Great, great show. So, so good. And look at this right here. Eat like a luchador cookbook. That would be a fun cookbook. And look at this. El Chapo Guzman. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. This place called Libby Lula. And uh, pretty going to check out some of the books, some of the neat uh, decor they had going on there. I love that old school retro TV. That was rad. I used to have something like that as a kid at my grandma's place growing up. That old school, big, heavy furniture looking TV. Which I wish I slide in now, that old school TV. Now the wood, it was like a wood, wood frame. That was pretty cool. But let's go up this way and uh, check out some more of the streets here in Barrio Logan. You just walk up the street. I don't even know if I even walked up this street before uh, like this. One of the main drag over there more, but not like, like this. It's kind of neat. It's a little shop from, uh, it's supposed to be a car place before. It looks like it has not been open in a long time. But kind of neat to see this like an old school little spot like that. Kind of abandoned now. But let's go check out over here. All these kinds of little things and artwork. It's like an interesting thing too. Like right up here, you see it's this thing. It looks like a basketball court kind of deal. I don't know if that even is that. It sort of has that look. So you see that little community sign up there like home and guests i don't know it's kind of it's outside of the you know it's like an apartment complex now but 
has that scoreboard up there. It's kind of trippy, very unique. This thing has all kinds of graffiti and all tagged up on this old building right here. Heck, this could have been an old video store from back there. I'm sure they must have had an old school video store maybe back in the day in this area. They had to, right? They totally had to. Yeah, I remember going here for like a couple of years back for Cinco de Mayo at this uh, market. I'll, I'll you know, get some beer up there and drink it over here. So it was kind of uh, you know, fun doing that because I didn't even care. So it was kind of cool. A little uh, mechanic shop over that way. Another uh, shop. It might just be closed on Monday. I don't know. Some of these places are closed Monday. Some aren't. And that place over there, Barrio Dog. I've never been there. I might have to get some Barrio Dog in a bit. So I've never been there. I heard it's really good. My friend Sabrina's like, hey, get some Barrio Dog. Because she knows, like, I think she knows the people there. She always tells me, hey, get a Barrio Dog. I've never been there, but if you're watching Sabrina, I might have to get some Barrio Dog. More of these shops. This one doesn't open up until 4.30. I'm, um, I'm right now it's noontime, like maybe like one-ish or so. So I'm here early, but it's like an Italian spot. I heard it's pretty good. I think we could try this out sometime. This area is known for like, you know, Mexican food, but I'm sure that the, it's the Italian food probably is really good. I heard it's really good, this place, but I have to check it out sometime. Very cool. Like, I love all like the cool buildings, like these, like the decor here. It's, it's great. I love like the, the purple here and the different colors going on and that kind of deal. Very, very, very cool. Very awesome uh, neighborhood. Very cool area. But you know what? Since, you know, it is lunchtime. Let's go, let's go get some Barrio Dogs in this area and uh, do it up like that, right? Let's, let's go do that. Barrio Dog, uh, what's the park? You know, I parked it out of a block over, but look at that. Get the low rider right up there in the front. That's pretty neat. And in the building, you have this uh, cool park up here. Let's go check this out. You can see some of the menu here on the door. So it kind of makes it easy to kind of see what you're getting. One pound of crispy Susan French fries topped with your favorite Barrio Dog. Look at that. It's a... Uh, Real crazy right there. Oh my goodness. They get the regular bar, the dog, hot dogs himself. Right up over there, it's like regular like hot dogs. They get some sides, some elote, oh, elote, huh? The palitos, mama's macaroni. Oh my god, some good stuff. Very cool. Look at the low riders going on up here. Check it out. Very, very cool. These like little, like, the different uh, car clubs you see right here. Had to get me some of that Mexican Coca Cola made with real sugar. Oh yes. I took out these light fixtures made out of beer bottles i dig that i got my hot dog it's the el chicano it's like a california burrito sort of thing it's like the hot dog split in the middle you get potatoes right here guacamole sour cream all kinds of pico de gallo in that thing look at that it's like huge and it's a lot of stuff stuffed up in there oh my goodness ketchup all that up in there guacamole cilantro all that oh my god it goes it's a mexican soda you're gonna have that oh my goodness Here's me now eating the hot dog, the El Chicano man, and it, it was a messy, good time, delicious uh, hot dog. We got all stuff in there. It is really, really good. All right, so this is the Barrio dog. That was really good. I uh, got the El Chicano, Chicano dog, and the Mexican Coca-Cola. Always tastes better than Mexican Coca-Cola because it's made with real sugar. Go figure, right? So good. Hit the spot, though. First time there, definitely be going back. Very, very cool vibes. Good hot dog, really good. You know, across the street, this place looks pretty interesting. Lumpia. Huh. So it's like, is this a like Filipino style? It is a Filipino food place here. I didn't even know about that. That is pretty cool. Modern Filipino Leah's Lumpia. Let's check this out too. So let me some Lumpia, let me some Filipino food, get the Ponset and all that. Steamed jasmine rice, pork belly. That looks good. Look at all these Lumpias, all kinds of Lumpia here. It looks very cool looking in there. I didn't even know about this. I saw this from across the street. I thought was, I saw the pinata right here. It's a Filipino style place. That's very cool. Let's just walk up here. Yes, yeah, Salute Taco Shop place is great too. They're closed today. I, think, I don't know if they're, I think they're closed for refurbishing or something. They're doing something, I think. Like a sign. Thing. Every time I go by here, it is closed. So they're doing something. Look at this building. It's called Fish Guts. I guess they sell fish there or just maybe they just sell fish guts. They could, I don't know. Let's go walk up. Uh, toward that way and up here another mural on the wall this place this, this has been here for like the longest time it's always been sort of all kinds of different like artwork on here on this wall in the distance you see is the naval shipping yard you can see there's a navy ship right there might be a destroyer or something but that's where they, that's where they fix all the uh, navy ships at it was like down there a handful of blocks away fortunately all these places are just closed right now i think they're closing on monday so i think they come back here on a Tuesday or whatever, but you see like all these like different clothes on a Monday. See so, yeah, like right there. 
unfortunate. But little, little stops here, like little cool places. I remember, I think it was one of these ones I went to, and they had a um, like a pretty rad thrift shop. I don't think it's there anymore. It was one of these. I believe it's gone now, but had a pretty neat like thrift shop in there. It might be in there. No, it could be in there. No, what is in here? Let's go check this out. Yeah, they really had some pretty cool, they have, they have little stores in here. So that's cool, it's still here. Let's see if it is open. Let's see if they got the Steve Urkel doll. That's awesome, they have like pretty neat stuff. That is an interesting uh, clock. Oh yeah. Is it open? Oh, I think it's closed, it is closed. Oh, unfortunately it's closed, man, dang it. I was hoping it'd be open, but it's not. It's kind of neat though with like the, the things in the wall, kind of like that. But unfortunately, they are closed. I'm hoping they be open. Dang it. It's another time. They're probably closed on a Monday. Go figure. But this is a pretty neat place. Got like little like knickknacks in there. Mind it yourself. Come here on Tuesdays. Skip Mondays because everything's closed on Monday. The good old Border X Bruin. They're closed too. Which I knew they were being closed. But they, they are closed too. Unfortunately. But they have, they have the horchata beer. It's like a little mural. Maybe someone passed away. Possibly, I don't know, but I see some candles there. Maybe it's, I don't know if that's for him, or I don't know if it's for him, I'm not sure, but it could be, I don't really don't know. Yeah, pretty nice, I didn't notice these before. These must be new. Look at the detail of that, it looks like so uh, lifelike. That is amazing right there, which I wish I could draw like that. As I leave this area, there's other shops up here, but uh, it is closed. I think it's supposed to be like, like, a, like, almost like sunglasses, so I think much you need to go in there for. It's like a little, little dog chilling right there. Another little, uh, Restaurant. I've never, I've, never, I've never been there either. We've got some like, skateboard shop and like sneaker shop, that kind of thing in there. Little, more little shops. It's, it's, you know, the only food place I really come here to is uh, Las Cuatros Milpas, which is that way. They're closed right now. They just recently uh, closed for the day. They closed early at three o'clock. So they're closed for the day. Look at this little shop in here. It has little knickknacks, stuff in there, and a lot of a lot of Hello Kitty. Up in there, look at that. Lots and lots of Hello Kitty. If you're into the Hello Kitty in San Rio, this shop is for you. And even some Pokemons. And up here, there's like a little bar, the Logan Inn. A little bar, a little uh, cantina. You get your drink on that right up here. Very, very cool. Never been there before. I have to check it out sometime. Maybe go there at nighttime sometime. It'd be kind of neat. And I was walking and I thought, when I came by here earlier, I drove in this place. It was closed, but it's now open. It's the Mall Bicho Collective. And it's sort of like a horror look in there, like the shirts and the skull. Let's uh, check this out and uh, see how it is. Art show inside. Very neat. Here we are inside and all kinds of neat uh, artwork. So Check it out. Very cool. So the art show is probably this right here. I want to show you something. Look, Look at that. There's Star so Wars, goodness. That's pretty cool. You've got a big cop. more stuff right here. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Like El Santo. Right up there. These are pretty rad. Bella like Gosi. These like wood, like artworks on the wood. I dig that. Yeah, they even got the Monster Squad. Oh, that's cool, the Halloween one. Dude, that's rad. Check that out. We have Jeffrey Dahmer. Do you want to play with dead things? Dude, that is really, really cool. It's about kind of like artworks. They could have some fun hot Cheetos. His associations were very well Pretty cool. Look this guy. Oh my goodness. I just noticed that. Look at this like, big old creature right here. That. And little pins. How many pins? Like, I like these ones. These are pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. There you go. She got all these different uh, prints up here. I like that. Look at this uh, Edward Scissorhands one. <laughs> That's great. And for all you ladies out there, look at all these earrings. Pretty neat. The uh, spooky ones, Disney theme style. Look at that. We go for Halloween time. Those and some other prints up here. Some of the more fun looking prints. All really cool stuff. You get these Disney ears. So I think all the like Disney people like Disney ears. Look at this. I get the concha. Disney ears. Get the Halloween one. The Halloween concha. Some Star Wars going on. C three PO. Very very cool. 
This is a very, very awesome place. Definitely a really cool store. Check this place out if you're in Barrio Logan. Very cool. More artwork up there, murals. Look at this colorful house. Like a purple blue uh, tone. Very neat looking. A really old school home. And so we're not that far now from Chicano Park. Which is up there, all the nice murals and that kind of thing. Which I'll check, check some of those out. I suppose you foreign videos, but it's always nice to uh, go through there and check it out. Always very, very cool vibes. There we go, all the murals up here, all the artwork. This, these have been here for years, uh, a lot of these. Some are newer, but a lot of these ones, especially ones in there, been there for a long time. Uh, very cool here in San Diego, good old Chicano Park, with all the uh, Mexican Latin heritage going on up here. Very, very cool. This right here is different, I'm not sure what this is, right? I can't really tell what it says. I don't know if it says that or not, if I doesn't say that. We the people, sorry, we the people. That's what it says. That's awesome, that, that is definitely new. I've not seen that here uh, before. You have all the different rocks up here, the different art and that kind of thing. Some put some jewelry on there too. That's really neat. Aztec symbolism and activists and that kind of thing up over here. Very, very cool. Let's go walk, let's go across the street, maybe go over there. I never really, I don't think I've been on that bridge right there, a little bridge. I don't think I've been on that, so let's maybe go on that if I can get across the street okay. Maybe we'll check that out. All right, made it across the street safely. But before going over by that bridge, I don't think I said, I don't think I've been on that before. Let's go check out this like cactus, cacti, Little garden maze. Let's go, let's go check it out. There's different cactuses and cacti. I see some people walking through there now. So you know what? Let's just walk through. It looks kind of cool looking. Do not, do not fall in this. Uh, that would, uh, that would hurt, man. Oh my god! Look at those, look at those thorns up there. Yeah, I don't want to be, don't want to fall in that. Uh, yeah, a little too thorny for me. Let's go up through here. It's all kinds of different cactuses. It looks like a grave or something. Has that kind of look to it, but it's not. But it's like a little tree. It almost looks like a person, like a head and two arms, maybe three arms in the body. Look at these little cactuses up here. These little ones. Those ones. All kinds of stuff. It's kind of, kind of neat. These ones have little flowers up here. These are pretty yellow flowers uh, coming out of it. On oh, those ones too. Very neat looking. There's like a little pathway through here. There's like a little, uh, almost like Halloween uh, decor right there. <laughs> it's kind of neat though. I didn't, I didn't uh, see this like this before. Before it was not as nice as it uh, is now, but this is very, very nice. I like how this is. Very chill. Very nice, very that's a pretty peaceful right here. Gymnasium, you know, for kids, that kind of thing. Yeah, look at this tree, very trippy. A log right there, yeah, very, very cool. But now, let's go through here again. I'm gonna go by that bridge and check it out. Now watch your steps, you wanna fall into some cactus, because, uh, man, you'd be, you'd be pricked pretty good. That would, that would not be good, but look at this one, this is kind of this one. Kinds of cacti right here, all kinds of cacti. Cross Street now, right by the Five Freeway, which is over there. We're sort of get rush hour traffic, and you go that way for about 20 minutes or so, you'd be in Tijuana. Oh yeah, I'd have to go there soon. I'm going to go there very soon. At least I think I am, because uh, why not? It's fun. Maybe some TJ goodness. But let's go to this bridge race. I don't think I've been on this. Very cool. I've always like passed up for so many years. It's never really like parked here just to walk across up here, you know, so let's go check this out, see like where it takes me. Nice view, different view of the park, just right there and everything else. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm at the kind of the top, but it goes, keeps on going that way. Pretty much just takes you across the street into that neighborhood. I'm not going to go way over there, but it takes you right over there. But kind of neat, just want to kind of check out this view. 
everything. Very neat. This is the, the big Coronado Bridge right over there. But yeah, look at this big view. Look at that. You got downtown San Diego to distance over there. Yeah, I'm waking my way back down. I'm actually going on a skateboard or a bike, maybe flying through here. Probably kind of dangerous, but probably pretty exciting too. But yeah, let's go um, toward the street behind me. I'll walk by the handball and basketball courts. You got the basketball court going on right there. I'm sure many games have been played on that. And here's a uh, mural of the car clubs here, like, almost like a barrio dog. And it's like all like, the lowrider, well, some of them, the car clubs here in San Diego. Look at that. Very neat. To get the handball courts right up over here, so they play like handball. We haven't played that since I was like a, like a kid in school, but yeah, it's like it looks like it'd be fun though. Get some cool handball going on. We're gonna be like doing like dodgeball and those kind of like quads. And you do that kind of thing, but yeah, very very cool. And you get like a little workout area right there. Then up there's like like Los Quatro's Mill Pots. So I'm gonna walk way over there. That's my like little markets, liquor store, parking garage, more people going to the freeway. Probably loud and busy right now because like it's about go home traffic starting right now. So it's pretty neat. But yeah, very uh, let's go up this way and go back to where I parked up at. Just cutting through the park now to get to where I parked at. Let's go okay, we'll cut through this little area and check out more of this. The scenery. I always love this little, this little uh, middle amphitheater type quad setup. With the, how it looks it looks awesome. They do like uh, different dancing there and uh, bands. Some always play there for special events and that kind of thing. Here's like the bathrooms. It was last time I was in here, I think it was with Pierre like over a year ago. We came here by Cinco de Mayo. We walked inside the men's uh, bathroom, which I think is this one up here, right? So there it is. And man, let's go and like, do a bathroom review. And uh, here it is. Here's the bathroom. Bathroom review, and yep, there you go. Yeah, kind of a interesting bathroom. But yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's, uh, let's go. Ooh. Yeah, interesting. A little, <laughs> little scary bathroom, but that's it's okay. It's okay. That's a good market too. They got some good beers up in there. Jump in there a few times, buying drinks, and that kind of deal. I parked like up here. As I'm leaving, get some more interesting artwork. I like how that sepia tone looks on that. That's pretty neat. It almost has like a, this guy is not him, but it has like sort of like a, almost like a Vincent Price sort of a look in a way. I don't think it's him though, but it has that kind of slightly look. Pretty neat. Check that out. Very cool home. This is a walkthrough. Look at the nice brick glass right there. And some of these like little sh stores. There's a bike store. This this one. La Popular Tortilla Mexican Food on the Go. I don't think it's been open in a very long time. You can tell by the inside of it. Not in a long time, but yeah, very cool though. I like, I like old stuff like that. It's very neat. As uh, we go through a lot of neat old homes. Love that. So as I walk toward my car, I pretty much will do it for this video. Nice little day walking around Barrio Logan and Chicano Park area here in San Diego. Definitely an awesome area to check out. Definitely if you're here in town or visiting San Diego, check out Barrio Logan. It's very, very cool. A lot of good stuff. Not as dangerous as it used to be, so it's very chill here. Good vibes, fun shops, good food, all that coolness. So very, very, very awesome. So check that out. Right now I have to get going because I have to check out an apartment. So hopefully this one will work out good because it's like taking some time, but it's okay. I'm stacking them stacks, keeping mentally positive, doing my thing, still doing the content, thriving and surviving and doing it like that. So it's the only way I know how. So, oh yeah, I'm doing it like that, but hopefully I'll get that spot soon. So I'm ready to move in. Oh yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. If you're my channel, make sure to subscribe, of course, that kind of thing right there. Make sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, check out my eBay store. I got some stuff on there, it's been there for a while. Let me sell that stuff so I can put some more stuff on there. So I just wanna get rid of that stuff on my eBay store. So do it like that. You can support me by doing that up like that. And I'll catch you guys later on the next one. I'll see you then and bye-bye.